All right, guys. So spoilers. So guys, yesterday Geeks One Hundred One made a video, and he revealed some very, very massive information. So guys, a massive shout out goes to Geeks One Hundred One for breaking the Dragon Ball Super Broly news. And guys, trust me, these spoilers are not small at all. These are major spoilers from beginning until the end. And for this specific video, I'll be talking about the ending of this movie. And if you guys are okay with it, then let's get started. So guys, the ultimate question is, does Broly survive or does he get killed off? And guys, the answer to that is, Broly survives. And right now the question is, how does Broly survive? In this movie, there will be a fusion, which is Gogeta. Gogeta and Broly will have an immense fight, that is without a single doubt. But guys, at the end, Gogeta overpowers Broly. And just as Gogeta is about to finish off Broly, the female character by the name of Chile, she makes a wish with the Dragon Balls. And she makes a selfless wish, which is for the survival of Broly. So that Broly can live. And guys, in all honesty, what I gotta say is, after watching Dragon Ball Super trailer number 3, which was very hard hitting, and Chele said, Broly is not fighting because he wants to. Now guys, that is very, very strong what she said. And guys, that only means one thing. Broly is being forced to fight and Chele feels really bad for Broly. And Chele probably knows the history of Broly as well. Of his father and also Broly's past. Because guys, Broly and Pegasus past is truly tragic. It is really heartbreaking. Just because Broly had a massive power level, which was higher than Vegeta, King Vegeta's son, that is why King Vegeta got jealous and guys with that King Vegeta sends out Broly out of planet Vegeta to a hostile planet where Broly had to survive all alone just as a baby. It was either kill or be killed. And soon after by using a spaceship Paragus went out to find his son Broly which he did. But guys when he found Broly the spaceship they used to get on that planet that Broly was on that spaceship broken down and guys for all those years they were stranded on that planet until the Frieza Force finally found them. And if you guys remember in Dragon Ball Super trailer number one, we seen Chele and Lemo. And from the looks of it guys, it looks like they're the ones who first come into contact with Broly and Paragus. And without a single doubt, Paragus loves his son Broly. But there's something else that Paragus loves even more than Broly. And that is Broly's power. For all this time that Paragus and Broly were stuck on that planet, Paragus only focused on one main thing and that is to take revenge on King Vegeta. But what he had forgotten was his son. He did not give his son true love. He cared more about Broly's power than Broly himself as a person. And basically guys in other words what Paragus saw was not a son, but a weapon of mass destruction. And guys, without a single doubt, Shelly is working on the side of evil, which is Frieza. But guys, under all that, she still has some good inside her. She still has a heart. And with that heart, she was able to feel Broly's pain. And Shelly really felt bad for what happened to Broly in the past. He is a victim of everything around him. And that is why Shelly did not care about anything or anyone and she saved Broly. And the survival of Broly could mean only one thing, that there will be a second coming. Anyways, you guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. So do let me know what you guys think about this and comment shut down below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys want more videos like this and also the latest news about the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, then guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Anyways, once again, you guys, thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day, everyone.